12 stocks to buy for the next stock market advance. Good day, all stock market traders and investors. This is Total Investor, everyone's favorite YouTube investment channel, where we look at uh, stock markets, uh, stocks, commodities, and sometimes even cryptos, uh, where we decide uh, what stock market patterns are bullish and bearish and trade those opportunities for making money okay so today as I said before we've got 12 opportunities I'm gonna show you all, all 12 stocks please watch the entire video all the way through and you can decide which ones are appropriate for you if any or if you just want to watch uh, specific just because you want to learn about technical analysis then, then that, that's fine um, again keep in mind as, as I've said many times before Everything I say should be only thought of as educational purposes, okay? It should not be construed as financial advice. Uh, please subscribe to this channel. Click on the subscribe button and you'll be notified by YouTube whenever I post a video, okay? That way you're never left out. And let's go now to the very first chart that is AMD advanced micro devices okay what I have is it's, it's the six month uh, chart uh, if we go to the top here where it made it uh, back in mid-june all the way down it's touched it several times guess what it finally broke through three trading days ago so three green candles and it, that is bullish we we are up above the 10-day moving average above the 50-day moving average crossed above the trend line the RSI finally broke its downtrend line. It's above 50 and a nice green candle. Everything is a go on AMD, okay? Next is Enphase Energy, E-N-P-H. Again, six month charts, going right up to the, the top six months ago, $230. It's been down ever since, okay? So I've got the downtrend line, that is, uh, going to be major resistance when we get there. Uh, if we look across, it bottomed out here, made a low at around the 150 level. Uh, so yes, it's got more than one reason uh, to find resistance at that 150 level. Okay, but looking closer, we have the stock making lower lows as of more than a month and a half ago. Lower lows in the stock, yet what is the RSI doing? Making higher lows. So that is bullish divergence. That's what we want to see when we are looking for a chance uh, <clears throat> to get in because it's showing us that the bottom, it's, it's a, showing a bottoming process. Okay, the stock is getting weaker to the downside. So uh, we, we finally got a, a move here from, on the RSI trading above 50. That was good. The stock uh, closed above the 10 day moving average. We're touching the 50. So this is looking like a nice bottoming process. Again, we still got a lot of work to do because it, it's gonna have some uh, resistance here, a lot of resistance at around the 150 level. So if you wanna trade the short term, maybe, but uh, intermediate term, it's gonna hit uh, uh, the resistance here at this level. So please keep that in mind if you wanna trade end phase. Next is Ford Motor Company. F is a stock symbol. Uh, I just draw on to draw your attention to the two months. Uh, the last two months, the stock has been making a low here at around 1170. Uh, it's slightly lower the second on the second uh, low here. The RSI higher lows. Okay, bullish divergence. That's what again. This we want to see if we want to get in because the stock has a good chance of bottoming out. Uh, the stock is now above the 10-day moving average, touching the 50-day, uh, but and the RSI is just a hair below the 50 trigger line. So this goes on the watch list. It may form a double uh, double bottom and bounce. If it does, what we want to do for the, to find out the target would be from here at the bottom, which is 11.75. Uh, subtract, uh, subtract from the 13 so we're talking $1.25 and then add that price to 13 so 
the target would be around 14, 14 and a quarter if it breaks through and moves up. Okay, now it's not a big move, but again, keep in mind we're talking Ford Motor Company. It's not in the best industry, um, you know, interest rates going up, but we might have a slight pause in the interest rates. If that happens, maybe we'll get, uh, you know, a little bit of a relief rally in uh, the autos. Next, Marvell Technology, MRVL. Strong resistance, or sorry, strong support at the $52 level. Uh, made a recent high uh, back in late July, early August. Came right back down, bounced off several times off of the 52. We are now up above that bounce, uh, above the 10 day moving average, slightly below the 50. But look up here, the RSI broke at the down, the long uh, downtrend line. So that's good. And we broke the 50. So we're getting good signals here that Marvell may want to move significantly higher from here. MRVL. Next is NEO and IO. Uh, it made its top back in uh, early August above $16 and it just collapsed after that. We find, uh, looks like we finally uh, had a double bottom here at around $8. So $8 is a support. The stock broke through its downtrend line. That's a big plus. Uh, the RSI broke its downtrend line. Another plus. It's above the 10 day. That's a plus. So we're just waiting for the RSI to pick up above 50. And then maybe we'll get some movement, hopefully, if interest rates cooperate, moving down, or at least a pause. And, uh, you know, hopefully the entire sector will do very well. But we're just going to put this one on your watch list for now. NEO. Pult Group, PHM. Again, another interest rate sensitive uh, sector, housing or home building. Uh, we've got the stock here. $70 was initially a major resistance level. Pulled back. And then it bounced above, broke through, so that became support. Had a nice pop all the way up to $86, and that's where it ran into uh, and it ran into trouble. I drew a downtrend line from here, so we're at about just above $76 on the, um, the downtrend line. It has to break that. Uh, we've got some positive uh, news on this uh, stock, the way it's been performing. Bounced up above the uh, support level it's above the 10 day moving average so that's good and the down uh, the RSI broke its downtrend line however still below the 50 and we've got some resistance here uh, with uh, the downtrend line on the stock again uh, interest rates have to at very least pause so that we can have some kind of uh, a relief rally uh, into this if not more trouble for this particular sector pulled group Next, Revolve Group, RVLV. Uh, we've got a, uh, a strong support here uh, at $15, touched it several times, had a nice bounce, and then it broke through that support and it became resistance level, okay? Now we're touching resistance again, okay? So we might get a bounce off of that, come back down, and then maybe uh, a second or third attempt at that might very well break through that new level of resistance. Uh, one way, uh, you know, one way of knowing that is by looking here, uh, that initial bottom that it made and another bottom here in the stock. So we've got lower lows, but the RSI did not make lower lows. It actually, these are a little bit higher, not much, but it's enough to call it a bullish divergence. Okay. Again, that's what we want to see if we think that it, that it will show us that the bottom could be forming. So it looks like that's exactly what's happening. Plus, the stock uh, is above the 10-day moving average. The 10-day moving average is sloping upwards. Uh, we're pretty much at the 50-day, uh, and the RSI broke above 50, and above, uh, we're at 59, okay? So this is looking very, very promising, although again, very, very short term. We may not get uh, some resistance here, but uh, that might be just a signal to be buying in uh, for, you know, just before it gets through uh, that uh, $15 resistance. RVLV. SNAP, S-N-A-P. Uh, after the stock made its high way back in 
late July at around just under $14. Down, 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 hitting resistance, resistance, resistance. Finally, two days ago, it finally broke through that, okay? Also, the RSI broke through that, through its resistance of, of the, the downtrend line, okay? How did we know that that would be happening soon? Well, down below here, we've got the stock making a low, another low here. This low is lower than the, the previous one, but up here on the RSI, the RSI is actually a little bit higher, okay? So bullish, resi uh, bullish divergence. So that tells us that is uh, a low was coming, or at least was likely to happen, and it did, okay? So now we got the stock breaking through the trend line. It's above the 10-day moving average. Uh, so everything seems to be looking very, very good, although I'd like to see, uh, you know, maybe a little bit more volume and uh, the, the RSI breaking 50 before I get in SNAP. Next is SoFi Technologies, S-O-F-I. Uh, I brought, I, I've got a lot of lines here for a reason. Uh, I know I continue to talk a lot about bullish and bearish divergences uh, because they are very reliable, at least I find them to be reliable. And on this chart, I'm gonna show you three of them. First one down here, it made uh, the stock made its low back in uh, early May and then mid-May. The second low was lower than the, the initial one but up here on the RSI. What was that? What happened? The high, the second, or sorry, the second low was higher than the initial one. So that was a bullish divergence telling us that that could be the bottom or at least it's bottoming in the process of bottoming. And what happened? That's exactly what happened from there. That was the actual low and the stock went higher from four and a half to 10 okay so more than a double from there that high stock pulled back made another high so we look at this high and this high the stock goes is, is making another high but what happens to the rsi high here high there but it's lower the stock goes higher the rsi is lower that's a bearish divergence and what do you know that was a top and the stock goes down from 11 and a half to support at eight, okay? Now we've got our third divergence here. Stock's making low here, a lower low here, goes straight up and what do we see with the RSI? It's making a higher low, okay? So it doesn't confirm. We've got a bullish divergence. Now, having looked at this, uh, we're, you know, the bullish and bearish divergences have done very well in predicting where it would go. Do you think that this could give us an idea where the stock is going to go from here? Well, I think so. Uh, again, bullish divergence. The stock is showing so far that it does want to move higher. It has done exactly that. One, two, three, four, five green candles right after that low. Okay. The stock also broke the downtrend line. That's bullish. The stock is above the 10-day moving average. That's bullish. The RSI broke its downtrend line. That's bullish. It's above the 50. That's bullish. So technically speaking, SoFi or SoFi, however you want to call it, is a buy, technically speaking. Okay, S-O-F-I. Next is a semiconductor bull 3X, S-O-X-L. Please keep in mind, this is a 3X stock, so there's lots of, um, stock has a lot of juice there, okay? Uh, volatile, it's a lot more volatile than uh, the ordinary, uh, the regular ETF for the semiconductors. Uh, lots of, uh, sorry, the, the main, the main uh, I forgot the reason why I have it for 15, I think it was probably, I had a, a longer term chart here. And there was like major resistance and support here. So we'll just ignore this one for now, the $15 level. The high that it made here uh, back in early August, another high. So I just drew a trend line down. We hit it today right at the close. If we look at the RSI trend line, it broke through and it's above 50. So this is looking good. Uh, the stock is above the 10 
10 day moving average. So this is looking very good. Uh, it would be considered as a buy signal, uh, technically speaking, SOXL. Again, keep in mind it is very volatile because it is a 3X. And block SQ. Strong support at fifty-five dollar, uh, yeah, fifty-five dollars. Bounced off of it several times. Finally, it broke below that and it became resistance. Okay, from there, uh, I took the uh, the high of just over eighty dollars back in early August. Just straight the trend uh, down from there, and it, it touched it several times. It broke through three trading days ago, one, two, three, four green candles. That's a big plus. It's above the 10 day moving average. That's a big plus. The RSI breaking through the uh, its downtrend line, moving higher, not quite at the 50 as of yet, but getting there. So initially the first um, set of res resistance level is gonna be 55. So it's about 10 to nine, $10 from here and then it's going to hit some resistance and that's just going to depend on what the general market as a whole is going to be doing if we get a pullback then that might be as far as it goes okay so that is block sq next is 10 cent music entertainment tme uh, this one is pretty straightforward uh, the stock made a high back in mid-june at around 840 and we've got a downtrend line touching uh, that level several times Finally, today it broke through uh, that that level. We've got it above the 10 and the 50 day moving average. And we've got one, two, three, four green consecutive green candles. The RSI above 50. So technically speaking, that is a buy. If we, you know, if it goes back up to the new the old highs, uh, almost two dollars. So percentage wise, that is a good trade if it gets there, okay? So that is, I believe that's the last one, yes. Uh, okay, so that is it for today. Uh, please keep in mind, uh, if you can, please subscribe to this channel, thumbs up and a comment. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And uh, hopefully I don't lose my voice as it looks like I am already. Uh, I do apologize for that. Uh, if everything works out, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.